And welcome to Inside the Valley on this Sunday morning. As I said earlier, we've got a great show in store for you today with a lot of great events that are happening in and around the Rio Grande Valley. First on the show, we're talking to the ladies from the South Texas Health System about a great event that they have coming up to raise awareness about strokes. We'll talk a little bit more about it. We've got Becky Kamick and Shanna Gonzalez. Yes. Perfect, got them right. <laughs> well, thank you both, ladies, for being here. Really thank you appreciate for it. Us. Thanks for having us. So, before we start talking about this great event that you have coming up here, I believe it's the second annual. Let's first of all talk about strokes and the importance of knowing about strokes and what to do if you or someone you see has a stroke. Well, you know, the reason why it's so important that we know about stroke is because did you know that it's the fifth leading cause of death? No. Every 40 seconds, one person in the United States dies of stroke. So. Mm. You know, the whole point of us doing this stroke uh, run is that we want to raise awareness, like you said, to the community so that people know what to do if one of their loved ones or if they're having um, a, a stroke, mm -hmm. right? So we teach that the FAST acronym. Right. And that's what we're using with to name our stroke run too. But so FAST, uh, the word F stands for face, right? Mm -hmm. If you see that your loved one's face is droopy on one side, you know you have a problem. Right. The A stands for arms. If their arms are, are if they can't move their arms, you've got a problem. Yeah. And then if their speech is slurred, um, you've got a problem, right? So the T in the FAST acronym, what do you think that stands for? Uh, time. 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 <laughs> so basically, you have to call 911 as soon as possible right. because the longer you wait, the, the higher the risk of long-term um, effects and on that patient or on that person. What is what is the time frame? So uh, for, there are different types of strokes. Okay. You have the hemorrhagic and non-hemorrhagic strokes. Mm -hmm. For non-hemorrhagic strokes, you've got the medical providers have three hours to give you specific medication that can help um, decrease poor outcomes in patients. So really you have to get there as soon as you can. If right. you see someone or you have a loved one that's experiencing some of those signs and symptoms, you have to call 911 quickly and get to the hospital so that they can get help. And real quickly, uh, just so we can let the folks at home know the difference between a stroke and a heart attack. Okay, so heart attack, where do you think that happens? Comes from the heart. That's in your heart, right? right? A stroke is a clot that happens in your brain. Right. And um, strokes are really, really dangerous because what happens when you have a stroke is a lot of times you have loss of function. Mm -hmm. So if you're a, you're active, you like to run, you play the piano, you um, do, or, or have a, an active lifestyle, guess what? Mm -hmm. That goes away. Yeah. A lot of times people can't move their, they, they, have, they have immobility issues. So um, if you play a piano, forget about you sure. know that piano playing, forget about running and exercising. And so that's why it's so important that you act quickly so that your lifestyle can stay the same. Absolutely. Or, now, uh, a lot of people when they're, you know, if they have a heart attack, they're told, hey, take an aspirin. But if you have a stroke, do you not take an aspirin. Don't take an aspirin. Because you don't know if this is a bleed mm -hmm. or if this is a clot. Right. So what the most important thing to do is just call 911 and get to the emergency department right away. Right. Um, so that's really what we want to educate and what we want to bring out to the community is um, to raise that awareness, um, the risk factors of stroke, and to quickly identify the signs and symptoms of stroke. Now what about if you're sleeping? Can you have a stroke while you're sleeping? You can have a stroke while you're sleeping and a lot of the cases are like that. They can go to sleep and wake up with the signs and symptoms of stroke already. So we really don't know when that stroke happens. But when that happens, you wake up, call 911 right away. And what, sh what should you do if, if you see um, either somebody, you know, you're in the mall, you see someone having a stroke, obviously you want to call 911, 911 right away, but what would be kind of the second thing you do? Would you sit that person down? Would you keep them standard? Or what would be the next thing that you would do? Well, certainly you want to sit stay them down with that person. and okay. stay with them, right? right? Because if they're going to, if they're going to be losing immobility, you certainly don't want them standing because they'll fall and maybe potentially hurt themselves even worse. Right. So stay with them, call 911 until the uh, paramedics are there to take that person to the hospital. Absolutely. Stroke is the leading cause of serious um, long-term disability. Mm -hmm. So like she said, it's the fifth leading cause of death, but it's also the leading cause 
of long-term disability. Right. So it's it's very important that we minimize that um, that the stroke effects. Absolutely. Now uh, let's talk about this uh, event that you have coming up here. It's mm -hmm. the second annual. Uh, let's talk about that real quick. Right. So McAllen Medical Center and Edinburgh Regional Medical Center are two. Um, primary Stroke Centers mm -hmm. for uh, South Texas Health System will be co-hosting our second annual Run Fast to Beat Stroke 5K Run mm -hmm. um, on May 13th and this will be held at the Edinburgh campus mm -hmm. um, at 7.30. The race will start at 7, 7.30. Um, this will benefit the Regional Advisory Council and this is a non-profit uh, organization. It's a local organization um, which uh, and their mission is to um, um, raise stroke. awareness mm -hmm. and actually um, prevent stroke um, in the Rio Grande Valley. Okay. So all of the all of the proceeds raised will go towards them. Now, how much is it to register to to get into the event? Um, for the competitive, it's twenty five dollars, okay. and for non competitive, it's twenty dollars. Okay. And everyone who registers, the first three hundred fifty registrants, will receive a uh, medal and a shirt. Okay. Wow. Yes, That's and it's also um, also a, a First, second, and third place finishers for male and female for each age division will receive a trophy. Wow, so a fantastic opportunity to get out there and you're encouraging everyone to get out, mm -hmm. um, even families, even younger children to get out, right. get involved, participate, and kind of learn a little bit as well, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, actually 12 and under mm -hmm. kids are free. Oh, even better, so if you're 12 and under, you can get in for free. Again, this is the uh, STHS Run Fast to Beat Stroke. It's gonna be on Saturday, May 13th. Packet pickup is the day before, is that correct? That's correct, from 4 to 7 at the Edinburgh Hospital Lobby. Okay, fantastic. And Important to note yes. that after April 30th, price does increase. Okay, yeah, I was just going to ask. Okay, so you want to make sure you get uh, your packets and register ASAP. Quickly. Where can people get a little bit more information about the race itself? So they can call 956-632-632. Uh, Four nine four four, and we've posted the uh, website as well there for you, uh, SouthTexasHealthSystem.com/5k, and there you can register online. But again, you want to make sure you register before April thirtieth, or else right. prices go up. If you want to save some money, yes. yeah. <laughs> but if not, if you if you want to give a little bit more money, hey, that's great as well right. because it's going to a good cause. Correct, absolutely. Well, I want to thank you, ladies, both so much for being on the show on this Sunday morning. Good luck with the race. I'm sure it's going to be uh, a great event, and thank you so much for enlightening us all on strokes. Thanks right. for having thank us. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Folks, don't go anywhere on this Sunday morning. When we come back, we're going to be talking to the folks from the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention about another event that they have coming up, another second annual. Don't go anywhere.